if you think a river is flowing water, a flop is one of life's failures and a chip is something to eat, then you need to stay tuned. On the other hand, if inside straight drawers and under the gun are regular phrases for you, you need to stay tuned too. Coming up, the poker tournament that everyone's talking about with the best players from around the globe and a half a million dollars of prize money. In last week's heat, some of the biggest names in the game put on their poker faces, riffled their chips and swiped up their cards in pursuit of $200,000. Roland the Edge de Wolf, Mark Mr Cool Goodwin and Tony the Lizard Bloom all fell short and it was Irishman Brian Little who qualified for this event from a £100 satellite who took the semi-seat. Tonight we have more top pros on display all vying for a seat in our second semi-final. Let's hear from Jesse and Cowboy Kenna James. Put those bottles on the shelf. Jesse May here with the Cowboy Kenna James. Thanks, Jess. Always a pleasure to be sitting next to you. Love the game of poker. Last week, no exception, with the pros in there. Wow, what an exciting tournament we had last week. The three top pros, Mark Goodwin, Roland DeWolf, and uh, who else was it? It was Tony Bloom, right? Knocked out, bowled over by Brian Little. Could it happen again? <laughs> Let's see who's filling the shoes with cement. My name's Mark Monkey Harris. I've been playing poker for over 20 years, and I'm from Hertfordshire. I know how to play the game and I get my lucky cards as well. And hopefully that will stay in place during this evening's play. My name is Juha Helpi. I'm from Helsinki, Finland, and I have been playing poker for like seven years. My best poker achievement was winning WPT Aruba in 2002, and I was close to repeat my WPT title in Paris last year, where I came second after Roland the Wolf. This tournament here you play to win. Second prize doesn't pay anything in this first table, so I have to play, play aggressive and uh, just try to win the table. It doesn't matter if I bust out first or end up second, I just have to win. My name is Philip Flanders, um, otherwise known as Pippa Flanders as well. Um, and I come from Preston in Lancashire. I'm just there to enjoy myself and Hopefully I'll, I'll get through to uh, semi-finals and that will be lovely. My name is Stephen Pearce. I'm originally from Birmingham but I live in Portugal now. I shall play my best, probably aggressively as you'll see, and hope I get the right cards at the right time. I'm Anthony the Bookie Hardy. I'm from Seacup in Kent and I've been playing probably professionally about five years. You'll see some action, you'll see some verbals. I'm a character, things will happen. It'll be good fun. My name's Mal Dawson from Belfast. I've been playing poker for well over 25 years. Should be a nice matchup. All eyes, Kenneth, are gonna be on Yuha Helpy, the original Finn. Yeah, he certainly is. They're always tough when they come from the north, I gotta tell you. You've played with him before, underwater, I understand. Uh, yeah, if poker isn't difficult enough, you know, playing around the table, how about submersed 30 feet under the ocean floor? <laughs> and uh, Yuha Helpy, boy, he was the shark that day. I anticipate him to put up a big fight tonight. Yeah, hopefully he'll be able to do it on one tank of air. But also in there, Pippa Flanders, a female player. Uh, she might have it tough. He, well, she may have it tough, but she is a strong competitor. I also expect a good showing from Pippa. Others around the table, let's get over to the action and watch this river flow. Players, take your marks for this heat of the World Open. Players beginning with 100,000 each in tournament chips. The yellow chips on the table are worth 1,000 each. The blue chips worth 2,000 and the reds are worth 5,000. Total of 600,000 on this table and you can't leave with any unless you leave with them all. 
And that is what gets you okay, through to the semifinal. Bunch of sunglasses on this table. Blinds will start at one in 2,000. And the first big blind are the cool sunglasses of Yuha Helpy, who kind of may come into this as the nominal favorite, being that he has a record stretches worldwide. Certainly uh, the biggest name worldwide uh, with his uh, win Pass. on the WPT in Aruba. Also finished second Raised in the WPT 7, in Paris. Pass. But a lot of poker prowess on Pass. this table, and that was Stephen Pierce Pass. with a 5,000 raise taking Anthony Hardy off the crabs, and in fact, everybody off the pot. So a little rake and rake it for Stephen Pierce starting things off well. And uh, I guess we've seen, Kenna, that uh, players like to ease their way into these games, usually. The lights are bright out here in London town. That's why they must have the glasses on, Jesse May. <laughs> Either of that. Pass. Or it's simply strategy. Who's to know? Book on Anthony total. Hardy. Pass. Pass. And maybe Anthony is ready to run and gun. What do you think of coming out of the traps Pass. with an aggressive yeah, mode in these uh, events, Kenna? Is it risk reward? Mm, good question. Let's see how it bodes well for him. Pippa Flanders debating the call. It's four blue chips, it looks like, to her. She call. has two already in, or one, rather. Call. Call. Yes. This is a long call by Pippa, don't you uh, think? <laughs> is she trying to get lucky here, or just defending her big blind, Jesse? Certainly a statement she's making that she's willing to play. Maybe she knows something about Anthony Hardy, but they've both missed his flop. Can, uh, where's the advantage? Advantage goes to the player in position. But Flanders gonna try and steal position, hoping that her opponent has two big cards. 10, she's gonna 10, put a bet in and try and take it away. Let's see if she's successful. Yeah, they call it Irish position, first chance to bluff. And <laughs> Pippa's done just that. She's stuck in 10,000 here. And what is Hardy supposed to think? And well, uh, he's eyeing her in. Pass. This is uh, a pot well played. Uh, taking it away from Anthony Mostly Hardy is Pippa Flanders. I have to please. say, this is Pippa's M.O. I've seen her play on television before, and she looks meek, but her heart is lion tamed. Button around Anthony Hardy's way, and this is healthy under the gun. Cool. Just called here. Perhaps a factor that he doesn't Pass. want to raise two pots in a row, kind of? Raise. Well, perhaps the factor also that he has 7, total. a hand, a type of hand Pass. that plays very well multi-way, so he doesn't mind if somebody, you know, more players come into the pot. He does mind paying too much for it, though, and that's exactly... Re-raised to 27,000 total. Yeah, there was a raise to 7,000 from Pierce. Pass. And Mal Dawson with the re-pop from the small blind and the ladies. Pass. And uh, yeah. Pierce had an 8-9, Kenna. I mean, uh, definitely took his pet pills this morning, but uh, Mal Dawson had the real hand. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Mal playing his hand. Steven playing the situation, trying to pick up the extra chips there from the limpin' from Yuha Helpy. Uh, his raise less about what his hand was and more about the situation. Did not, uh, when you do play situations, they don't always go your way. That one did not. He ran into a hand behind held by Mal Dawson. Mm -hmm. Brought that pot home with pocket queens. On we go with Pippa Flanders. She'll look down at Ace Jack. And I'm not sure, is that Eeyore sitting next to her chips? <laughs> it does look a little donkey eyed. Her stuffed animal. And she's decided call. just to call. I mean, uh, you know, Ace Jack seems to be that borderline hand for a lot of people, Kenna. And uh, calling Pass. matches breaking out behind her. Is it maybe because it's so early on that she decided not to risk too many chips? Oh, wow. Dawson follows ladies with two kings on the button. Gee, it is nice to get cards, and when they come grouped together, 
Pass. The only one who might give him a challenge is Flander. She has ace jack. Will she take the flop? This raise has been pretty sturdy by uh, Dawson from the button, and because he re-raised the last pot, is Pippa thinking maybe that she is strong or he is weaker than he is? Well, is this warranted? She's definitely doing some calculating so here. Tentacle, tentacle. I'll re-raise, please. Re-raise. She's going to get herself in trouble here, 20, Kenna. More, the thought may pass. be good, but the situation very bad. And, uh, you think... Cool. Oh, Dawson's really trapping here. He's going to let her hang herself. Unless the ace comes. Do you like to play by either player? Very risky. Oh, no. And Pippa Flanders is going to stick the lot in, I fear. All in. All in. Call. Call. All in. Call by the Northern Irishman. It's the two jacks against the two kings. And Kenna, was this just a, a, a train wreck waiting to happen? Not waiting to happen. Uh, it had to be gauged. Engaged poorly by Pippa here in this situation. She decided to make a play for this pot before the flop. It did not work. She ran into a hand and then flopped a jack, which unfortunately for her gave her false confidence. And except now oh is rescued my. by an ace on the turn. She was drawn down to five cards. Now it's Dawson who needs a king or a heart. He can't believe it. Dawson, who was trapping, finds himself caught in the trap. And unless a miracle king comes on the river, he will be out of here. It is not. It is a four. And just like that, wham! These the two trap falls shut. Yeah, they were very close. On enough. Mal Dawson. Very close. Does he have any chips left? I don't know. They'll have to do a countdown. One of them was all in for sure. But which one was it? It could be the end of Belfast Mel Dawson, who must feel like he's been sledgehammered. Well, it was like a sledgehammer that was drawn back on a spring to slam on the donkey. But the donkey got away. It hit it on the tail. And Pippa Flanders squealed loud, loud enough to get out of that one, and it's Mal Dawson who walks away empty-handed. <laughs> a little smile there. That ace on the turn helped her out. Looking at that hand again. Pippa was in it on the flop, but out of it by the turn. Two pairs, aces and jacks, beating the kings. And what a collision. Wow. Don't play with matches. You'll burn your fingers, oh, Kenna. Oh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's exactly what Mal Dawson is doing, feeling like he got his fingers caught in the mouse trap. He was trapping with the two kings. A lot of times that works out, but when that miracle card hit, that ace on the turn, it's Pippa Flanders who took home the cheese. Now, when you see a double up this early in a, one of these heats, what does it mean? What are the other players gonna be thinking? Well, what it means for Pippa Flanders, who obviously is an aggressive and creative player, is that now she has chips to exact pressure on her opponents, and I expect her to do just that. Let's see if Pippa can go post to post. Unbelievable stuff in the first 10 minutes here. Pippa Flanders makes a big call and it paid off, sending her massive chip leader early doors and we are five-handed. Pippa Flanders, doesn't she look like the cat who just ate the canary? She can hardly believe her eyes. And Eeyore's in for a ride too here, Kenna. Well, Eeyore may be all ears. Pippa is all smiles after that pot. Wow, what an action start. She made the nice creative play to start and then got a little dish of uh, luck on that last hand and uh, we'll see how it goes. All smooth sailing for her thus far. Steven Pierce, he's got 9-4 under Pass. the gun, no good. It's around Pass. to Anthony Hardy who also mucks. Pass. That's Mark Harris. 
He doesn't want to play. Yuha Helpy, he's got the seven three of clubs. He's going to maybe get creative. That hand's so big, he's got to oh. put glasses on to protect his vision. No race. As if he doesn't want to look at it. He, ends, he likes to actually just flat call in the small blind. And Pippa with 10-3 in the big line, blind, we go to the flop. I'm, uh, I'm wondering here, Ken, if, if Yuha's got this hard Check. balance. On the one hand, he wants to play pots with Pippa because he thinks she might give action in chips. But on the other hand, he doesn't want to get involved without uh, get the thousand. chips in before he knows he's got thousand. something. Is, is, is that Well, obviously, that's not true. He has 7-3, but he picked up the flush draw on the turn. A small bet will take the pot. I don't think Yuha Helpy, as you look at him there, is afraid to get involved in action with anybody. <laughs> no, no, surely not. Especially if you open up your starting hand requirements all the way down to 7-3. And a look around our table tonight. Hold. One empty seat was held by Mel Dawson. <clears throat> His king's running into the ace jack. Hold. Yeah, seat open on this table, and there'll be more Flanders, to follow. Which took down the pot. No raise. She has king seven of hearts and gets a free flop. Big blind against the two limpers here, Kenna. Six, seven thousand in there, excuse me. And I think it is Pippa Flanders continuing her flopping ways. Check. Well, I'll tell you, the kings are working with seven thousand. Pippa here, Pass. and uh, they were no match for her before. What's the best way for Pippa to play this? Well, I think right here you want to uh, just flat call and let your opponent continue to uh, see how many chips he's willing to bluff off. You can see please. her hands Which trembling. Raise. Ten That's sometimes a uh, body language of strength. Let's see if Steven Pierce has picked that up or whether he just was uh, obviously out there just trying to make a bet, pick up the pot that didn't work. I re -rise. He thinks she's at it. He thinks she's at it. And uh, I'll tell you what, we could have the quickest heat in the history of Texas Hold'em here. How big is Steven Pierce gonna get the bottom walloped? Well, he told me he likes to gamble, and that's exactly what he's doing here. He's gambling that Pippa doesn't have a king, and if she does, maybe he can convince her that her kicker is no good with a little pressure by putting some chips into the pot. Kenna, at the end of the day, has Pippa kind of set this re-raise up by the fast play instead of the slow play? Okay, 27,000 more if you wish to call. An ill-advised move by Stephen Pierce against a chip leader who has uh, shown no propensity of backing down. And, uh, if she just calls here, she can allow him to hang himself even higher. Or will she go all in? Well, I think right now she's determining whether Stephen has a king or not. And if he does, whether her kicker is any good. Now he's doing an additional all sell job. All in, please. We raised all in. She's <laughs> buying. <laughs> I mean, you talk about egg on your face, but there's a carton of bricks just dumped on Stephen Pierce's head. And uh, I guarantee you that that red is not the color on your TV. I'm going to leave you. Pass. Pippa Flanders takes one again. And she shows it. Boy, she is marauding this table. Well, well, so far, she, she stacks the chips. The story has been very simple. It's Pippa's Flanders tournament. Who moved it? Who moved it the first time? It's here, Madrid. Twice. She may talk to a cuddly toy, but don't fall for her being a softie. Pippa Flanders has taken control of this table, and something tells me it's going to be hard to wrestle it off this lady. Let's hear from Jessie and Kenna. One, two, buckle my shoe, and Pippa Flanders is like running over. Well, the story has been pretty simple to this point, Jessie. It's Pippa, Pippa, 
and Pippa. <laughs> Nobody else a factor right now. She is taken out uh, off, uh, you know, out of the gate like a horse on fire. Wow, who can slow her down? Can we just talk table image for a second? What are the other players thinking about her right now? Uh, fear. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, who can stop her? That seems to be the question uh, that we'll face in this next uh, level. The blinds are still low. They're still one in 2,000, uh, Kenna James. And should mm -hmm. if you're sitting there with 100,000 stack, like you, Ha Healthy, like Anthony Hardy, mm -hmm. Do you sit tight and just wait for the hands, or do you feel like you have to catch up? Well, one thing I, I do is I avoid somebody that is playing as well and is running as hot as Pippa Flanders and try and pick on somebody else. Let her make the mistakes, but will she make them? Let's see. Well, we're five-handed, but Pierce has been so wounded it could soon be four. Can a guy like him recover, Ken? What does he have to do? I mean, it is only the first level. We've only played 13 hands. Pippa has uh, broadsworded one. She's knocked half a stack off the other. She does look like she Pass. is the one up on the horse. Pass. Going through this field with a lance. Pass. And uh, now small blind. You just get the feeling that if Call. she puts a little pressure on Stephen Pierce, he's not gonna no fight race. back. Even Pierce, look at a the little way, bit. Uh, look at the way he's leaning. He can't get far enough away from her. <laughs> a little disgusted at the development of that last <laughs> hand. The flop, 8 4, deuce all spades. Pippa now check. flopping a pair. Check. Check, check. Stephen Pierce has said, I've had enough <laughs> of trying to bluff you. <laughs> Just shoot me. <laughs> he Eight of clubs on the turn. Check. check. No more bluffing from Stephen Pierce. <laughs> And, uh, this could well be checked down. Pippa's got the best hand with two pair. Maybe looking for a value bet? Check. No. Nope. She will check it. Can you beat a nine? <laughs> Please. I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> okay, two. Nine. And uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm making fun of Steven. It's no fun out there sometimes when you're playing poker, Kenna. I mean, uh, sometimes you just do the right thing for the wrong reasons. And uh, it's very hard to gather yourself, isn't it? Well, it is. It's an emotional game, uh, Jesse May. And uh, as you can see, and as evidenced here tonight, the emotions can run high, they can run low. If you're just joining us, we're at the Party Poker World Open here at Matchroom Sports Studios. These players playing for one seat into the semifinal in route to a $200,000 first prize finish. Call. Limping from Harris with the ace Call. eight. And Helpy puts the glasses down Pass. to the two sevens. And you could see Stephen Pierce getting aggressive here. Raised to 6,000 total. He does exactly that, Jesse. Made good call, making it 6,000 to go from the small blind. It's, it's not a very big raise, Kenna. I mean, he's unlikely to get anyone to fold their hand, and he is out of position. Could he be in trouble here? Good point. Uh, obviously not afraid of a flop. Looking just to thin the field is Stephen Pierce. Anthony Pass. Hardy will get out of the way. Action over to Mark Harris. Call. Call. Doesn't mind him calling with an ace Call. eight. It's Yuha Helpy who has the best hand before the flop with two seven. Yeah, and position. And position is correct as we go to the flop. It is six four king. Check, check. Wow, this is a tough flop to 10, bet 000. with a raise in two callers with two sevens. It does not slow Yuha Helpy up one step. Pass. He bets his position, forces opponents Pass. to a hand, which they do not. Very nicely done. Yuha Helpy takes those few precious chips and adds them to his stack. He's not scared of anything, is he, Ken? Or was he, was he just thinking he could invest 10 now instead of more later? Well, let's see how it affected the leaderboard.
Pippa Flanders in the early going won four big hands and shoots to the lead. Already 261,000. Jesse May, that's nearly half the chips in play, and we're still in the first round. <laughs> Says you a healthy spoken cat. <laughs> <laughs> As you said, uh, aptly, uh, yes. Jesse May, Pippa <laughs> Flanders' uh, yes. husband uh, played uh, last week on the show. Played very well, as a matter of fact. Any race? And uh, no race. if we didn't know that, uh, I would have swore that these two called each other before the match and coordinated. <laughs> queen four versus the queen deuce, blind on blind. Queen four, jack the flop. Far better flop for Harris, two pair versus one. Yes, but Yuha could be in trouble here. He also has top pair. 19,000. Wow, that's a, did it, did it, was it 19,000 into an 8,000 pot? Wanting to protect his two pair from the fourth heart coming, he overbets the pot. Help me may read that as oh. a flush draw. Kenneth, that's not an overbet. That's, that's, that's 250%. What is it? And, and he's got a call from Helpy. And on the turn, I think you may go all in here. I'm all in. All in. Good call, Jesse May. The chips go to the middle of Mark Harris, and Yuha Helpy has now one thought. Is he bluffing on a heart flush draw? Does he have a single heart? And he's trying to push it through. Do I have the best hand with top pair? You know, can I... I was talking to Greg Raymer, uh I heard him say one time that the overbet used to be considered a stupid move, but now it's a part of poker. And uh, look at this. I mean, if Harris gets a call here, it's going to be mech. I mean, Helpy's nearly drawn dead. Well, see, the problem that what is going through Helpy's mind right now is if he flopped a flush, would he have bet so much? He doesn't think so. He would have tried to sucker me in. So what could he have? He's got to have a naked heart. This is what Helpy's thinking and why he's thinking of calling with just a queen here. Little does he know that Harris is just trying to protect his hand, which is two pair, far and away the best hand. Well, Yuha does nothing without considered judgment. And uh, this 51,000 bet, which is most of his remaining chips, he is going to give it some serious thought. He is, but it's... It's very confusing, it, you know, confusion, uh, a part of poker, because it's an inexact science, but uh, somehow he works it out correctly. It, it's kind of a good fold because his instinct on the flop was that he was good, and he's, he's basically changed his mind, hasn't he? Absolutely. And change is a very difficult thing for anybody, especially in the middle of a poker hand. You know, healthy is pretty much considered the original Finn when it comes to poker. Uh, he was the first one to put Finnish poker on the map when he won the WPT back in 2002, and uh, he's pretty good. The lights are bright, the action hot. Action to Steven Pierce, he has seven, deuce, don't imagine he'll play that. Pass. <laughs> Pass. What was he doing? Pass. <laughs> Jack seven for you, ha, huh? Helpy. Cool. Anyways. Little limp in for you, ha. Huh? Flat calls from the small blind. Once again, Pippa Flanders taking the conservative approach. Checking the ace five and wow. now flops aces up. Yeah, how is Yuha going to get away from this one? There is danger everywhere he walks tonight. Cool. Cool. Will the red flag go up? Well, Pippa is hiding in the bushes with a monster. And uh, the good news for Yuha, he's no longer drawing dead. The bad news is he doesn't have very many outs. Check. He doesn't. Uh, 
that Jack actually... 10,000. 10,000. Making it more difficult for him now that he's made a pair. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what. There are a lot of players who, sitting in Yuha Helpy's seat, would be taking the long walk to be cause right now. He's still got chips, but uh, it's not easy for him, is it? No, a headache at every turn for you, I help you. But he can play his way out of this. To with it. Blue on blue. We Got should the separate these time. two. Yeah. Where one uh, begins and the other one ends, we can only tell by the chip stacks. Picasso had a blue period as well. So did uh, Van Gogh, didn't he? He had to be blue when he cut off that ear. <laughs> Not been on top of the world. Cool. Cool. Well said. Last time Pippa limped in from the button, Anthony cool. Hardy made an aggressive move from the big blind. Flip of the chip by Stephen Pierce. He's in there. Nice. King eight. Anthony Hardy elects to take the free flop with 10-3. And deuce three, he flops a pair of threes. Yeah, Pierce has got the top pair from the small Check. blind, however. Top pair beating middle pair. 12,000. Looks like Pierce is setting a trap. Yeah, Pip is in the middle here, um, but not for yes. long. Doesn't want to take any risk. Here's uh, rechecking his cards again and again. It looks Any like of that. Are we on a draw? I've got some of it. Okay. Well, I guess I may have a little bit more then, so I go all in. All in. <laughs> I think it's about sixty or something. You gotta love the dialogue sometimes. <laughs> and now look at the face right there of Anthony Hardy. He doesn't look too pleased at that development. As you said, he has the the growl, the snarl of the bulldog. <laughs> he seems to have lost his voice. He's flushing. Sorry? He might be flushing. Or maybe. I like straight draws as well. I might have ace four trying to hit a five. Do you think this guy's be at a bar? <laughs> I don't know. How much more? But Stephen Pierce trying to put additional doubt in trying to draw the you for like call eight, from ten, Anthony Hardy. Was wondering. And now really this mixing is a good it hand up. With that flow. Can Hardy get the information he's looking for, Kenna? And if Pierce had a straight draw or a flush draw, would Hardy call anyway? I mean, uh, anything with two overcards in it is going to be a favorite against him. You look like you're going to call me. Any draw with two overcards? Uh, I'll put down bigger hands than this. Mm. You know. Well, I think what's happening here is Anthony Hardy's already relegated himself to folding this hand, but he doesn't like what Pierce well, is doing. He doesn't like eight, his ten. tactics. Eight and I think maybe. he's just exacting some uh, revenge sure, by making him one. think he's got a bigger hand than he does. I think in about 18 Pass. seconds, he's yes. going to fold. Well, actually, a lot sooner than that. He's had enough. Pierce takes down the pot. I'm glad to get a couple of red chips back. I think they're looking huh. a bit bad without them red ones. Well, Stephen Pierce, that is the biggest pot he's won, Kenna. And uh, after a disastrous start, he's nearly pulled himself back in this match. And he probably is feeling like his confidence may right, be gathered. Yeah, <laughs> he's got to feel good right now. You know, aggression the great thing is, you get is to see in a very important a element. Tape. And you notice, even okay. though he was short stacked, he didn't go into a shell and wait for a hand. He kept that. going out again no, and just... again and uh, get those chips back. That's what he's done. Steven Pierce back in this race. He's got 90,000. You've got to stay active in a format right. like this, where the blinds so go get up rid of these red ones continually, where it's a winner-take-all format. You've got to stay active like Stephen Pierce is. He brings it in for a raise on the button with ace-five. 
Yeah, and you wonder if Hardy is still steaming from last hand. Clearly not. He is. You got lots of tips. No problem for your ten to see. Did not want to blow up with them. But uh, that particular case, he would have been right. And Pierce has managed well, to win. I'm uh, bluffing or anything, so I have to show about that. About three pots or four pots in the last yes. round, he has come alive. He oh, certainly has. Up. That might be the trifecta right there. I asked him. And finally, <laughs> some relaxation um, and a smile. You saw when he had lost he half his chips, his body language and how frustrated and really angry he was for dusting off half his chips with a bluff, clubs, but now yeah. he is certainly okay. back in form. I mean, yeah, like, this was an emotional game, can it? It can change on the head of a pin. Sure can, Jesse May. The highs and lows of No Limit Texas Hold'em. Yes, right. no oh. And uh, Pierce saying, uh, can't raise every oh. pot. Just limping in there. Sort of being aware of his own frequency uh, oh. of raises. Well, Check. that and that right. these Full hands action. are multi-way hands. Nine. Ten jack and also the four five of diamonds by Anthony Hardy. Yuha Helpy uses Check. his sunglasses Check. like a race car Check. driver. He just folds them down when he's in a pot, but uh, fold it around to Pierce here, top pair, yes. and it is eight, well, 12,000 to bet. And you can see yeah, how really the now. game sometimes yeah, really decision. rewards those who go out and take a an aggressive stance. He was dominated before the flop there by Mark Harris, but that uh, the deck showed him much kindness. Instead of putting a 10 out there where he would have lost a big pot, it puts the jack, and instead he wins the pot. Yeah, stacks them happily. And sits up very straight. You're going to the best hour like in, in October. And you know, no, I think he is ready to be sociable. Play the EPTs. Uh -huh. how, about, how about in December, the Five Diamond? Do you go to that one? No, I'm having my uh, first kid in December, so oh, I have yeah. to stay oh. in Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Oh, waiting for <laughs> <laughs> so sociable that he forgot he had a hand before he decides to take a break. Cool. Anyways, <laughs> You are sitting there in the short stack of the small blocks and just play. Oh my, Pippa Flanders has flopped Check. a flush here in the big blind, and Yuha with the up and down straight draw. If his straight hits, he is going to be one sunk ship. Kenna, it, it has been such Check. a wrong way board for Yuha Helpy tonight. It's like he's playing asteroids, and he's just that little triangular ship in the middle of all those big rocks. Hurtling through space with absolutely no chance at all. <laughs> Pippa, well, everything world. going Pippa Flanders' way. The chips almost on top of the donkey can barely peer over those stacks. Women are really making their mark in the poker world, and we're really seeing that tonight. Pippa Flanders has a huge chip lead here, and she's been more aggressive than the boys put together. Can she hold them off? Three and six thousand is the level that is about to get underway. And Kenna, besides Pippa Flanders, whose stack is well nigh comfortable, no one else has made forward motion. Although Stephen Pierce will feel like he's got a handful. He's got double what he had at his lowest, and. Uh, Kind of glad that Pierce is getting another chance to show what he can do. He, uh, he had gone out early 
then uh, he would have felt like he hadn't have brought his best game Pass. along. But now he's basically got a fresh start here from the button. I can't. Cool. Good point, Jesse May. The fresh start, Stephen Pierce. Cool. Going to maintain nice. an aggressive Raise. posture, raising it with 8-10 of hearts. What? Called by Anthony Hardy, King 4 in the small blind, and now additional 18, pressure. More, 24 total. Exact, <laughs> exacted by Mark Harris. How about the re-raise with the A7 of clubs, Jesse May? Yeah, I, I think Pierce may have just limped from the button, and uh, I don't know how much the raise is. About 18,000 here from the big blind by Mark Harris. It's pretty serious. Well, that would bode well if he did limp, and I think you are Pass. correct. That was a missed call. Pass. So uh, Harris picks up a nice pot with the ace-seven of clubs. What does that say on his shirt there as we go on in? The monkey. They call him Mark the Monkey Harris. They're a good look at it. Mark the Monkey Harris. And uh, in the UK, as you know, can a monkey sometimes means 500 pounds. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's the slang for it. Is that right? Where yeah. does that come from? I don't know, but they call 25 pounds a rhino. Oh, no, a pony. A rhino is 250. So Pass. are you telling me a monkey weighs more Pass. than a rhino? It's, uh, it's Wow. It's, it's unfathomable, <laughs> but true. Got to be an awful big monkey. <laughs> I mean, you're right. <laughs> There's been uh, some motion here. The limp in Raised from Harris in the small blind and now Helpy with a uh, pretty weak holding, but the king is good, raising it 12,000 more. King Kong says, cool. I'm with you, baby. And is this pot maybe a little out of control? 36,000 in there. Neither player has much of anything. Now well, this is some, some macho stuff going on here. 789 giving uh, Harris an Check. open end straight. Check. Helpy knuckles at once. Straight draw. That is the best card oh, Yuha could have seen. A king to save okay. Yuha Helpy, who could have been bet off this pot on a straight draw by Harris, but he pulls the king, and that may allow him to make a big bet and win it right here. Why did Yuha check that flop? It was brilliant. Well, because he had already put some heat on the pot trying to pick it up. He only had king high. Once his opponent called out his attempted bluff, uh, he shut down. And now with the king, he's trying to determine if his opponent called him with a hand like ace king or king queen. He needs to bet, Kenna, but how much? Well, he needs to bet probably at least half the pot if not more but he doesn't have that much so he's got about he started the hand with 63,000 he's bet everything but the stack of yellow 28,000 and uh, that will follow if Harris moves yep he has bet just more than uh, half the size of the pot which suddenly has increased to 64,000 will Harris take a shot here to try and make the straight or will he give it up almost like Yuha can see Mark's cards he's put an amount in that just makes it kind of tempting but not definitive <laughs> <laughs> As we guess with words here, it is Harris on the line guessing what Yuha has. He knows he certainly beat. It was really more a factor of whether he wanted to pay the money to make the draw. And with only one card to come, he opts out. Yeah, and Healthy finds not only a way to win there, but to make money at the same time. Kind of clever. Very clever play by Yuha Helpy. When you're not getting the big starting hands, you have to create ways of winning pots and gathering chips. He did just that just now. Did Yuha Helpy, 29 years of age, from Helsinki, Finland. He took down that last pot. Blinds Pass. three and 6,000 now. Pass. And the small blind play from Yuha. 
He hasn't folded yet yes. from here, but he is now. Walk yep. given to the chip leader. And nobody wants to mess with this filly. The calm, cool exterior of Pippa Flanders, not to be confused with that fiery feistiness that goes on inside, which has developed into that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Stacks and stacks of chips. I kind of feel like when Pippa Flanders has this chip lead, you're in for a ride. And that's exactly what it's been for these players so far. Hardy has been shut down completely so far. Doesn't seem like he's able to play his game. Right. Right. Good point, Jesse May. Harris now with two sixes. Going to put some heat on the 22, pot. 22,000 total pass. Is that 22,000? It, it was definitely a raise. 22,000, a big raise. Yeah, that is a big raise, Ken. And uh, that's going to give uh, Flanders some cause of concern and consideration with Ace Jack. Is she trying to figure out whether or not Mark Harris is committed to a re if she re-raises? I think she's trying to figure out the value of her hand facing a 22,000 bet. And uh, in a nine or 10 handed game, it would be, you know, easy fold but in a six-handed match or now we're five-handed even that hand goes way up in value and that is what she is pondering oh. now is that right yes cool i think she's announced call which is pretty much middle of the road fold or raise would have had reasons as well what what is she going to do on the flop here i mean well i think that's why she called to you know give her a chance to see the flop and That's, see what develops. That is about the best flop you can see with two sixes that doesn't include a six. Exactly right. A great flop for Harris. Check. Check. I'm all in. All in. He's not wasting any time moving all his chips to the middle. He wants to win it right here. Not give Pippa Flanders another card off the deck to try and make a bigger pair. An Pass. effective bet. She folds. He takes down the pot. Nice pot for the monkey. Yeah, it sure was. The money monkey. Pippa showed weakness, I guess, Kenna and Harris, not shy. Well, I don't know if she showed weakness. She's, Pippa Flanders certainly showed a little uh, indecision on that last hand, and usually when you have that indecision, the action is usually the call, which is what she did, and uh, tried to, uh, that probably was the best option. Gave herself a chance Pass. to flop a pair and make the best hand. It did not work out. And Pass. so we're on to the next hand. Quickly folded Pass. to her on the button. She passes to Steven Pulse. Pearson, the big blind. Flat calls with eight, nine. No over. Kenna, there's been so much infighting going on in the blinds in this heat so far. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. Good, good, good point. And uh, I believe Hardy's got top pair. He certainly does. King 5-4. Nothing for Stephen Pierce. That hasn't stopped him before in certain <laughs> spots <laughs> of creating something. And uh, 20,000. As Hardy bets 20,000. That's a big bet. 20 into a 12,000 pot. <laughs> does not want to... <laughs> anyone to mistake his intentions. Well, Stephen Pierce does not give up easily, and he's thinking, well, if my opponent had a king, wouldn't he have raised know, before the flop? Can I move in and get him off this hand? This is the creativity of Pierce. I was just commenting that. I think you have about another 35, but you can have this. I think you should raise with 35. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wish you had a raise. You'll definitely know if I was doing that. <laughs> Not a huge pot, Kenna, but they have oh, been excited, then. far and Where's few right? between for Hardy, and he will gladly add that to his holdings. Yes, sir. These two players circling each other in a boxing ring like two fighters looking to land a blow. That one a jab by Hardy. Takes down the pot onto the next hand. 
know, before this heat started, you Pass. probably would have said healthy and hardy, the two favorites, but uh, right now they're Pass. finding it rocky at the bottom. Just scrabbling for feet steps. 16. For purchase. Raised to 16,000 total. And a raise from Pierce from the button with the 8 4. Creative, to say the least, Kenna. Pass. He's through one. Harris, given the long look, never has a King Deuce looked so strong. Pass. But uh, not to the monkey. And he is a pickled egg, Stephen Pierce. He limps in with the ace. He raises with the 8-4. It's working right now, though, isn't it? Well, I don't know, Jesse May, but in one hand, you called one player a pickled egg and the other the monkey. <laughs> when they see this show, they may come a calling on you. I wish I had a lock on my door. <laughs> <laughs> 6,000 for Flanders. Pass. And uh, Pierce is. Pull. He seems to be Pass. one of those guys that likes to play the rush. Pass. Won the last pot, plays the next one. And it's not a bad hand. No, he knows this is a game of momentum. He tries to keep it up. A lot of players stop and go. You know, they get on uh, a couple big hands and then they go into a shell. Pierce likes to keep the ball rolling, so he limps in with the jack nine of diamonds. Can Action most? over to Helpy with the ace five. Mm -hmm. and most Price, players would be happy to see a free flop too. with that hand. But Helpy uh, is always trying to figure out if there's a way to win it, isn't he? Absolutely. And when he smells weakness, he's noticed that Pierce likes to limp into pots, which really most of the time, a high percentage of the time, unless he's, uh, you know, oh, trying like to set a, set a trap, like, he knows that ace high like is probably connector. the best hand, and he wants to win it right there, not give his opponent a chance to flop a pair. That's sharp play by that man, Yuha Helpy. Looking deep into the glasses, you can see the eyes going back and forth. Interestingly, Kenna, that Jack-9 suited uh, plays very well against something like an Ace-5. But uh, Yuha does not want to let it get there. Exactly right, especially with position, because if neither player flops a pair, that means Helpy may have to check Oh, wow. Pierce has called. He has position, and if he hits this flop, can Helpy get away from it? There's 55,000 in there. It's big for both players. Very big flop coming. And, uh... Oh, my goodness. Queen, 10, 8. That's a flop for Stephen Pierce. Yeah, this is ugly as far as Helpy's concerned. All he Check. can do is lose. He's drawing dead. What, are you afraid my connectors connect with that? It's a straight, it's a flush draw, it's a straight flush draw. Well, usually when players talk, that conveys strength. I think Stephen Pierce would have been better served with a tight lip here and a knuckle. Check. Instead, he gives the speech and a tap of the hand. With the turn card, the action will be back on Helpy. How is Yuha gonna figure this out? Can Pierce get any money out of him? I don't think so. Not unless an ace checking. comes. And again, the dialogue is not going to serve Pierce well here. I don't believe. Let's check if my hands as big as I think it is. <laughs> He's working hard here, Pierce. He is. And <laughs> <laughs> he is trying to dig the ditch and, and forget the leaves. He's just trying to push Yuha Helpy in. And you can see the smile across Yuha Helpy's face. This guy's a professional. He knows when a trap is being set. Doesn't he? Well, I mean, I just wonder, Kenna. I mean, if Pierce had a piece of the flop, wouldn't he have Ace bet? Go. But oh, King. wow, Yuha knows. I don't know. I, I believe you'll find out in about three weeks. 
<laughs> he says, watch it on TV, does Stephen Pierce, with the rest of the nation, and I hope you do. There's been a, a big momentum switch in this table, and uh, Pierce is brimming with confidence right now, Kenna. Certainly is, and Chips will do that. He right. has come out of his shell. There he is, Stephen Pierce. Yeah, 126,000. Very successful real estate mogul. Can I say a mogul? What is a mogul? What defines a mogul? Yeah, I think it's about six feet high and covered with snow. <laughs> Harris folding the five deuce. It's on you, Ha Helpy. A6. Endurance. Raise. Kenny, he's down to 40,000, which is only about six and a half big blinds, but again. still has not stuck his tank in. He's just made it 18,000, leaving himself slightly more 18. back. 18. Oh, it's only 12 more. Okay, I think he's my lucky omen, so I must call. Why not okay, ship the lot? Is this why? So he can get a call okay. from a hand like this? Well... I think he has too much to move all in. It would look like a desperate move, and I think that's why he made more of a standard raise. 20. 22. I think he expected hands ready for like you. Stephen Pierce's to fold. 8-6 of hearts, but it actually is a good result for Helpy, or can be, unless it comes in 8, but it's coupled with the ace, which gives Helpy a pair of aces. There's twice as much in the pot as Helpy has in his hand. And uh, okay, Stephen Pierce is oh. not going to lose him. This is exactly <laughs> what Yuha Helpy <laughs> wants to see. Well, sure. A yeah. dead door eights, card so. here 22, for Stephen Pierce. Only two eights gentlemen. would knock okay. Yuha out of the tank right now. Oh, he's yeah. got a six as well. Yeah, eight's showing up. Six, eight. And I do believe an eight has been passed by Pippa. So that'll be one out for Pierce. Yeah, well, it is in the deck. <laughs> it is in there somewhere, but not on the turn. It's a queen, and... I can't remember if Pippa passed the eight of spades, eight of spades or not, but it has to be wow. the eight of clubs, or else Good come still. Helpy will double. Nice Aces up will take it. And 86,000. Yes, How healthy <laughs> has that much right now, but Kenna, is a miracle. He must feel like cashing out would be an excellent option. Or does he feel like he's got a huge shot to win now that he has ammo? I think he's just relieved to still be in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like a man who gets bothered by anything at all. How, how was his oxygen tank underwater anyway? Was it, was it was it running out? Or well, that's a good question. You know, we got, that's right. If you ran out of oxygen during the course of the tournament and had to surface, that means you were out. So you could not get nervous because you would start breathing heavier and heavier, right? And Pass. use up your oxygen. So Pass. maintaining a calm, uh, cool demeanor Price. was yeah. to a benefit. And uh, he stayed in action. So that means he is calm and cool. Yeah, I heard there was a yogi who dwelt Pass. up and won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a what? What a yogi. He'll what is a yoke? <laughs> Looking at the leaderboard, we are about to hit level number four, Kenna, and Pippa Flanders still well in front. The rest of them sorting out. Followed by Mark Harris. He's got 105,000. Stephen Pierce, the only other one above the watermark, 100,000. You are helping. We know he likes to play below the low watermark anyway. He's got the Yogi stack of 86. <laughs> Anthony Hardy picking up the bottom. He's a cellar dweller with 76,000. An unusual situation here, Kenna James. Blinds are about to hit five and 10,000, and you don't often see that five-handed. Four shortish stacks, and what should they be thinking? But more importantly, how should Pippa Flanders be thinking about her big one? 
Well, <laughs> she has uh, really played conservative after that early start, so now I think she should turn up Pass. the pressure, which is going to be on the short stacks now that there's something to pick up in the blinds. I mean, we're almost certainly going to see some knockouts this level, wouldn't you say? I would think so. Hardy coming in with a raise now with King 10. You see the raising requirements now dipping down. Wow, and he's run Thanks, straight into Mark Harris. This could be the end All in. of Anthony Hardy, or Pass. at least the beginning of five cards of fickle fate. Can he throw this away here? Absolutely. Still has plenty of chips to surmount a comeback. We've seen it time and time again, week in and week out, here on the World Open. The short stack coming back to the surmount a comeback I, I don't think he should give up uh, and put his chips at risk with uh, this type of hand how much more but that is what he will consider sorry yeah I mean Mark sorry. Harris said all in so uh, he's definitely got Hardy covered Hardy wants to know how much it is it's what he's got left I mean, he does uh, make the call, Jesse May. 20. He finds himself uh, just less than a three, just uh, greater than a three to two dog. Yeah, I, I think he, he figured he was being laid nearly three to one, and yada yada. Here it is, ace queen versus king ten. Hardy has not gotten many look-ins tonight, Kenna, and he's down to a race where he's given up a head start. Ace, queen, eight. Wow. Jack, your mom wants you. Yeah, it's gotten worse, but slightly so. Hardy, Jack would make him a straight. Spike, spike. He could hook this pot if he hopes hard enough. And, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, Six of spade gives him now a flush draw. Yeah. A sp nice any magic. spade or a jack. One of you will be right. Will get him out of the trap. Yeah. Fortune's rising and falling, but the river will tell all here for Hardy. It is a seven. That's it. It took quite a while. But uh, Anthony Hardy, our fifth place finisher. Yeah, the bookie never really got his engine started. And his misfortune is the monkey's game. Mark Harris is very strong. The boys have tried to close the gap on Pippa Flanders, but doing that calls for drastic action. It's either a double up to get back in it or out the door empty handed. And for Anthony the bookie Hardy, it's home time. This level was bound to get a little soupy. It took exactly one hand to lose Anthony Hardy. Was he cuffed? Well, absolutely not. Uh, looking at the hand, Anthony Hardy made two mistakes in that hand uh, coming in early position with an inferior holding and then making the call. He needed a little bit of luck uh, to survive. It didn't go his way. Going forward now, uh, Mark Harris very strong, but what about Yuha Helpy? What do you make of uh, what he's got to do now? He certainly could easily be out now, but he's got 75. Yeah, he's hit a bumpy road uh, thus far, but he's maintained his position of late. Uh, it's we're, We have to see if he can surmount a comeback. Key for him this level? Win a hand, <laughs> especially now that the blinds go up, the pressure is on. Can he do it? Pip is still in front, but the wolves are howling. The characters of the 100 it, Acre like, Wood. Just an email you today. Four of them left, but you, only you, one so ticket to, to the semifinals. Whose will it be? But you can yeah, I mean, this no game feels a lot more that. open now than when it did earlier on, fine. doesn't it, Ken? Yes. Has Pippa let them back in? Well, I was hoping you know, I it. like the way Pippa's played. She didn't uh, toss away her chip lead. She, every once in a while, picks up a blind here and there, maintains oh, her nice. position Race. without risking her chips foolishly. Race 15 more. And she's and liable to get a lot of respect table. with this raise, yes. Kenna. I mean, uh, she, this is the first time she's raised in a while. I wonder if that's what Mark Harris is thinking. Exactly right. As he looks down at pocket fours, normally a very strong Three holding four-handed. 
Wow, he has announced re-raise. And despite Pippa Flanders' hand frequency of not playing a hand, it holds no value for Harris here as he's going to re-raise with two fours. It's 20 to him plus how much. Looks like, looks like an armful. Well, it depends on how big your arms are. 75. 75,000 raised to Pippa Flanders, who does not like to be raised. We saw that before. She got raised early on and put her opponent to the test. Let's see if she'll do it with Harris here. She doesn't like to... She does not to like to put chips in the middle and then release her hand. I don't either, so I don't blame her. If she should move in here, it would be a coin flip situation, but she opts to wait for <laughs> I, I could have sworn time. she was going to do it again. <laughs> I bet Mark Harris nearly soiled himself. Um, does that tend to gnaw at you when the first time you've stepped out in a while somebody pops it? Well, it does, you know, and uh, because you've, you've shown patience and discipline, and then when somebody ignores it, it is very frustrating. Uh, you've given people a break. You've stayed out of the way. It's Pippa Flanders' turn now to have the pocket fours. Let's see how she handles them. If she folds here, it would only be some... It only be that she's worried about her table image. Pass. Could be. Pass. She opts to Pass. fold. Pass. Action over to Mark Harris. He's got he point three. Yes. Okay. It looks like uh I... Helpy was asking Do for a fold and a free <laughs> walk. He gets it. A seven. Smiles and shows a seven. Well, you ha helpy showing that once you're down, you are not out. He was down in the cellar. He is back. Still over 100,000. I'll say he's got 101,000. That's uh, he's suddenly in the profit right now. He's played 60 hands and made a grand. Of course, at this rate, we'll be here to... 25,000 total. Tijuana goes legal. Well, Steven Pierce, as you said, uh, Jesse has been very quiet. Finally picks up an ace and decides to raise. And unless uh, all Pippa in. can find anything in the blind, she doesn't, but... Kenna, she's gone all in. She makes a move. Wow! Verbal all in from Pippa. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what... Now, this lady is playing some cards. Do not underestimate... The power of this woman, hidden behind a very sweet, innocent-looking Pippa Flanders, is the heart of a lion. What kind of, I mean, this game has gone to a point now when it's only the second raise that counts. Wow. I got to tell you, I'm impressed. You know, uh... I know. I know. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Limp but in here, anyway, no. On to the next hand. Harris with the two tens, and uh, he's going to try and play these to get action, I imagine. The blues may not look as threatening. He's 26 more, 36,000 total. Helpy, concerned about the lint on the cards. He's got a snake there, though. Pass. You just stop trying the math for me, please. It's uh, 26 yeah. plus 10, 36,000 total. And if Flanders does it again, she is going to get snapped. Very good eyesight. Well, I, I, I think Pippa knows that uh, when Pass. to go to the well and when not to. 26,000 total more. Oh, wow. Okay, Pierce is in trouble here. He's going all in. He's hoping for a race, I would imagine, Kenna. He ain't going to get one. Yeah. It's to... Um, He's going to get a pair under it. pair yeah. situation. That's as bad as it can get, really, because he's going to yeah. find himself a four and a half to one underdog. Minor 50 50. Yeah, I mean, there's still, there's still some chips for uh, 
Harris to call for, but it was not enough to put him to any sort of decision. And uh, Stephen Pierce, not only does he need a six, but healthy folded one, Ken. That's right. Does healthy folding a six well? on the button. So he's drawing to one out. The only bright spot is he gets five chances to make it. And they'll come across the middle here momentarily as the chips are sorted out. Yeah, hit the water balloon with the dart is pretty much uh, the story. The six King on the Jack plays, five, and now seven. even less likely for Pierce, the miracle. Is there a miracle six on the turn? No. Queen's okay. And behind door number five. Yeah, I think this is the end of the road for Stephen Pierce. And uh, I mean, like he's it. he's certainly gotten a lot of play out of his chips tonight. He sputtered at the start he did. and rose to a crescendo and now uh, caught up against the 10 he's yep. in fourth place. He, read, he rode the roller coaster but has to get off the ride. A nice gentleman, Stephen Pierce. Harris has now been a double executioner. Looking at the chip pie. All of the sudden, Pippa Flanders has lost the chip lead for the first time since hand number three or four, Kenneth. Well, good, good for her, though. She took a bite of the pie that was Pierce, or she would be trailing even more before he left. Help me, he's still got a sliver, a sliver of apple pie for you, ha, help me. This poker game is really hotting up, and with half a million dollars in the prize pool, the pressure's really on. More to come from the PartyPoker.net World Open after this break. Pippa Flanders had held the lead for so long, but another scout from Mark Monkey Harris, and he's taken the chip lead. Can he continue at this pace and pull away, or will Pippa come out fighting? With only one winner moving into that half a million dollar prize pool, it's all or nothing out there. Let's get back around the table. The blinds will be going up soon. It's going to get very serious if it wasn't already that way. Good look at Eeyore there. Yuha Helpy, a cool cat. Yeah, he's won two pots in a row. And uh, trifecta, perhaps. Or actually, he's won two out of three. So. He will not be seduced by the 7-8. Pippa looking at her cards, and then Got the big stack cards. on her left, a limp in. No race. A battle of kings. Flanders with the kicker. Yeah, and the 10 plays right now. Just gonna stick out. Is this a value bet or informational? 20,000. Well, definitely not a value bet. You have to have something to make a value bet. She does, but of course she doesn't know that. I think uh, she may have realized that King High is the best hand there and just wanted to uh, get it to hold up, which it did and she adds the blinds to her stack. Pippa Flanders doesn't make a lot of moves, but when she does, they are effective. I got to tell you. The move with the ace jack early against the two kings. Wow, raise. big slick here, button. She said raise, how much now? How much is that? <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Okay. That'll do. Sorry. Yeah, it's 25. Yeah. A handful 25, of red. Now. Pass. Gets the job done. Yeah, that will do. Her Pass. other move hand was the 7 4. What a great uh, timing on that move. And that uh, really damaged Stephen Pierce, who went out in fourth place, partly as a result of the move by Pippa Flanders. 
Mark Harris neck and neck with the chip lead for Pippa. He's on the button right now. Pass. And he'll be leaning away from Flanders. Computer hand suited. Raised. 20,000 more. That's pretty serious. Oh, Pippa's tight. got the ace. She does. Hugh Ha Helpy with Queen Seven of Hearts. Pippa. She's got him way out pipped with the ace eight. Re raise. She's going to put the heat on right here. Yeah. This is a pretty smart play here. Very smart. Yeah. Not letting Helpy see a flop and make a possible pair to beat her. She's going to say, if you're going to beat me, son, you're going to have to put your chips in the middle. Back for the second helping here, red chips. I would imagine <laughs> that's going to do it. Dishing out a helping of chips to helpy is Pippa Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Acting like a man who has been served some warm milk. <laughs> She was just going to keep lining them up there on the felt until well, Yuha gave up. So, so <laughs> anyway, no matter what the bet is. So. That's pretty good. I think you're finding more humor in that than Yuha Helpy is. <laughs> but uh, he takes a spoon of humble pie. Well, he's been wounded now, Kenna. Uh, Helpy down to about 60,000. And the blinds are going to hit him hard in the next two hands. Cold. Any race? No race. Pippa is kind of dictating the action uh, since they've gone three way. Check. Check. Okay. King High leading right now, but not no more. No, but she has. Check. Picked up the flush Check. draw Check. and straight draw on the turn. Oh, well, right you are. She's got quite a few outs here. Makes a pair. This, And uh, that was the only card that could help her hand, but Eight. still lose her the 15, pot. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine that tiddly bet is going to convince Harris. Cool. cool. It hasn't. Uh, well, a <laughs> small misstep. It does seem like it, it's, it almost seems like uh, Pippa made a bet there, Kenna, that could not be called unless she was beat. Well, that's right. That's why I say it's the very first uh, misstep that did not work out in her favor as uh, she fans herself. And that may give Harris some confidence. Although he's not looking like a man who needs extra confidence. He's been pretty cool. Well, Mark Harris has been playing poker for 20 years. He was born in Brighton, lives in the UK. He's played in various UK festival nice. events, so he's had a lot of experience. I'm sure he's been here before. He looks down at the jack cool. four of diamonds Any and race? makes the call from the small blind action over to Yuha Helpy. Jack. No race. He's looking to make a pair on a flop with eight five. Yeah, there's 20,000 in this pot. It's pretty serious as far as Yuha is concerned, but Harris, pair four is winning. Yep. 10,000. And that's the kind of bet that can be read about 11 ways till Sunday. What should Mark Harris think? Oh. Help, he's actually got six outs here. Any five, any eight. I wonder if he can convince Harris he's got the best Check. hand. Well, uh, he'd have to ship all his chips in and pray. And I'm still not okay. sure that would do it as uh, Harris picked up a straight draw as well on the turn. I think he's decided to give it up. Although this is an Check. excellent buff Check. card, he decides not to do it and uh, Harris will take down with a pair of fours. Yeah, I mean that check on the river for Yuha is pretty much just surrender because eight high can't uh, really beat Queens. anything except uh, technicality. So what's the last hand on the level? The new blinds are going to be 7 and 15,000. And that's really bad news for the Finn. 
so. really, really bad news. Thank you. Looking at the chip pie. Can you see the blue? Can you see it? 41,000 for you, Ha Healthy. You see an afterthought here, Kenna. Well, not enough pie. Just enough to hang on and have a prayer. You've heard of a chip and a prayer. That's where you, Ha Healthy, is here. He's going to need to double up very quickly or he will be out of it. 50% for Harris, 50% for Grace Pippa Flanders. Yuha's got all the rest. That Jack three, gonna take a stand. Actually, that has a reasonable chance of being the best hand. It is. Pippa Flanders, not much more to call, probably will give him action with the five six of hearts. What is more important to Pippa? A chance to take Yuha out or the fear of doubling him up? The chance to take him out, I think, is much better because, uh, you know, it's very infrequently that you're going to have a chance to take you Helpy out for such a bargain. And uh, to me, Pippa Flanders looks like somebody who can spot a bargain and will take it here. It's going to cost her 26000 and she can well afford it. The ladies can spot a sale, and the sale is Yuha Helpy. How much is it? Sorry, it's gonna. I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood. Looks like about thirty-one thousand. That may be. Ooh, that is a little steep. But thirty-one thousand to purchase the player of Yuha Helpy's caliber. Seems like a value oh. to me, and it is to Pippa Flanders. She makes the call. They turn it over. It's going to be a lot closer than it looks, 6-4 to four in favor of Flanders as we go to the flop. In favor of Flanders. Wow, 6-5 oh, suited. Of I'm sorry. You're right, Jesse. Thank you. 6-4 favorite in favor of Helpy. Yeah, either way, I'm sure he feels like the guy who's on his face. And uh, basically, he just wants to avoid the five or six. A jack would mm -hmm. almost be a surfeit of riches. And uh, this is very stone-faced gaze from Helpy. He knows he is one card away from elimination. It is an ace of hearts. That adds to Pippa Flanders' uh, hand, because now any heart, any three, any four, any five, all of a sudden a buffet of outs as we go to the river. Will she do it? It's a heart. It's it a flush. Is. And uh, Yuha Helpy knocked out here, Kenneth. Uh, he played perfect, but he is out in third. He's won a poker game underwater, but dry land not so lucky for Yuha Helpy tonight. He's over with Jesse and Kenna now. Here with the third place finisher, Yuha Helpy. Yuha, we saw all the cards that you didn't. Uh, is it any consolation to know that you played perfectly? Well, it's uh, some consolation, <laughs> but uh, I think it was pretty impossible to win with my cards what I got today. Because I, when I saw flops, I didn't really hit any, or if I hit, they were able to push me out and I heard that I really made right choices when I folded, and uh, well, it was hard to find a hand today. And uh, well, last hand I had a better hand. I was all in, 60-40 favorite. I lost. That's poker. Yeah, hard on the river. And what was the strategy when when Pippa doubles up on your left so early? What, do you want to play pots with her? Were you avoiding her? Well, I wanted to play pots with her, but uh, it didn't really succeed. I was trying to limp a few times from the small blind. I didn't really have much and then uh, maybe to pluff her out when I don't hit. I was able to do it, do it once in a small part, but like, it's pretty hard when you get absolutely nothing. You two are both used to swimming underwater and uh, or playing underwater and uh, you must have felt like you were swimming through mud tonight, you huh? Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> can, can I and easy fish these guys here? They're hard. <laughs> <laughs> Head up coming up after the break. Heads up in this heat now between Pippa Flanders and Mark Monkey Harris. 
From her early double up, Pippa has kept her lead over the boys, but Mark has been hot on her heels and only one seat is free at the semi-final table. Let's hear from Jessie and cowboy Kenna James. Down to the heads up now, Pippa Flanders and Mark Harris here, Kenna. Yeah, well it's very close as we go to heads up. It looks like Pippa Flanders has about 313,000 to 287,000 by Mark Harris. Each having their nickname, so to speak, it looks like an all safari heads up match. The donkey against the monkey. Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, these two have kind of avoided each other all night long. There's nowhere uh -huh. to run, nowhere to hide. Uh, not What's now. It's uh, going to be who plays the cards the best and who uh, is dealt the best hands. Ram them, jam them, heads up, one seat in the semis, and who is it going to be? Which one of these players is more aggressive? Is it counterintuitive because uh, Harris, the monkey, looks like an 800-pound gorilla. He breathes fire, but uh, Flanders has been so aggressive tonight, Kenna. She certainly has. Mark uh, has a spoon of stubbornness about him. Flanders, a spoon of creativity, which will win the day. Blind still seven and 15,000, and small blind from the button. Not a very good holding, but you must play what you're dealt head up, I imagine. Absolutely right, Jesse May. And uh, first hand, a fold around to Mark Harris. He's been tough. He's been solid, Kenna. He's picked up some cards. He's played them well. Um, do you think he can keep his game plan right now? Or does he have to change up to counteract Pippa? Right. No, not yet. Right. Uh, still both players with plenty of chips. The uh, blinds uh, still at 7 and 15,000, so still a lot of room to work. No need to get impatient yet. But he raises with the king six. 39,000 total. Yeah, he's raising on the back of the strength of that king. Right. And uh, he's right. It is the best hand right now. Right. Now, we saw nice. Pippa Flanders make a play early in this tournament where she called a raise with two medium cards. And when it fell bad, uh, she made a creative play to pick that pot up. I like the fact that she did not do that here. She's allowing the cards to come to her before having to go out and get it. Yeah, I mean, seven and 15,000, it's not small blinds, but they're not so big that flops can't be played, are they? That's right. You add the small blind and big blind together, that's 22,000, both players over 220,000. So that means they have 10 rounds of blinds at least. So a lot of room here. Uh, I think a little bit too early for Pippa Flanders to get anxious with the 10-4. But she's going to play aggressively, and there's nothing wrong with that heads up. She will put Mark Harris to the test with a raise two. Yeah, well, she can't seem to decide how much she wants to make it, but uh, raise to she total. has settled on 47,000, I believe. That forces Mark Harris to Pass. a hand. He does not have it. He has a foot with Queen Deuce. Nice pickup by Pippa Flanders. And um, Pippa may be just playing a percentage. I, I know that Pippa Flanders uh, has played many of this format uh, in practicing on the internet, the one table <coughs> format. So she'll have some experience head up online, if not Raise. live. Raise. But uh, Harris has got a race right now. And how much is it worth here? 20,000 more, 35 total. Oh, wow. I'll re-raise, please. She's re announced re-raise, Kenna. What is that going to do to Mark Harris? He could go either way. He really could, uh, Jesse. A pair, very big heads up. And uh, Pippa Flanders wants to protect her pair, which figures to be the best hand. It is, so she will put the heat on Mark Harris. He's raised 20,000. She's re-raising. Looks so like half a boatload. Say yes. No. And, uh, Sorry. Oh, right. How is Harris going to balance the strength of his hand against what he thinks of Pippa Flanders' table image? Well, it doesn't look like the raise is... another 50. 
The raise is only 50,000. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, 50,000 more. And uh, A7, right on that borderline between huge and non-existent. Well, the raise isn't that large that Mark Harris now has the option of flat calling in position and taking the flop. Aha. Uh -huh. If he should do that, that would give him a big opportunity to win the hand because certainly the overcards will fall to the threes. But he elects not to play. Pippa Flanders putting the heat on. You know, I got to tell you, Jesse May, a lot of people criticize women players in general and generalizing, feeling that they play too passively, that they are not, they don't take the, grain, the game aggressively. They don't take the game to the opponents. <laughs> Pippa Flanders. Well, she has not suffered from that. <laughs> she has not suffered from that tonight. She has taken it to the men and uh, finds herself in the lead with 341,000 of the 600,000 in play. Yeah, that's the first separation that's been achieved. And now, finding the ace queen, she can really hammer home her Onwards, advantage. Please. Raise. Again, the polite raise by Pippa Flanders. I'll yes. raise, please. Um, oh my. Eyes. Well, this is the uh, end. This is the end. I wish I could see. It's terrible, this. Don't worry. Then. Well, we don't know that, that this is the end uh, yet, Jesse May, but it certainly doesn't more. bode well. Oh, wow. Well, this is the end, Harris. Kenna. I mean, this is the end. Well, not necessarily. We saw many suckouts before. Okay, and if Pippa Flanders should call here, which I imagine she will. Okay, let's lock and load them. Okay, she says this pot's going to be about 500,000. Okay. 520,000 to be exact. Pippa's got a few left, but this pretty much going a long way to determine who's going to win this tournament, uh, Kenna. Absolutely, Jesse, man. I like what Pippa Flanders said. She said, okay, let's lock and load. <laughs> oh, my. Holy cow. And the, you have to feel for Mark Harris here. He could do no different with the ace jack, but try and catch a jack, and now even that won't be enough. Nope, he's going to have to catch running cards for a straight, a 10 and an 8, or a 10 and a king. If it's not one of those cards on the turn, this tournament is over. This is the verge of something special. Well, not for Mark Harris. It is a nine, and that is going to do it. Pippa Flanders has Mark Harris drawing dead. Yeah, a bit of an unfortunate last hand here for Mark Harris, but Pippa Flanders is going to the semifinals. She'll be playing for $200,000. She knocked them all out, and she did it. Uh, sometimes with cards, sometimes with nothing. Her way was the highway. Incredible. She caught a... You know, just a spoonful of luck early and then used her skill to fashion out this win. A good job for Mark Harris, but it's the donkey. Eeyore, the lucky charm. Pippa Flanders wins the day. Not to be for our businessman from Brighton, let's hear from our runner-up, Mark Harris. If you've made a really big uh, mistake on the last hand, that can get you down for a little bit, but I don't, I've done nothing wrong. So, um, you know, I go out of here second, playing reasonably well, um, move on to the next uh, tournament or cash game. Showing the guys how it's done, Pippa Flanders will be the only woman in the semi-finals of the event. She's over with Jesse, Kenna and Eeyore. Welcoming our winner, Pippa Flanders. Congratulations, Pippa. Thank you very much. Inspired play tonight. Uh, it just it just started off well and got better. The very first hand, you sent a message, six nine of diamonds and the bluff. Is that how you felt about the way you were going to play today? Well, I, I had a feeling that I, people might want to bully me a bit, so I thought, no, I, I can't just roll over and let everything go. <laughs> well, you certainly <laughs> no, do, did not didn't do that. Do that. You showed <laughs> some aggression, and uh, i got to tell you, it's a pleasure finally to have a beautiful woman next to my side <laughs> instead of these grumpy old men. Is there anything special that inspired you tonight? Um, well, that's 
I think um, the person who helps me the most is my husband. Mm -hmm. And we chatted about the, the game before we played and the, the sort of sort of strategies and stuff like that. But right. no, it, it just it just happened. It was a magical game. How about Eeyore? Did uh, oh, yes. Eeyore inspire <laughs> he, you? He helped. He, he helped. <laughs> Tell he us about donkey. Where does where does Eeyore come from? He's my daughter's. She has a heap of them. She has a oh, I can't can't count the number of them. All different sizes and different personas and uh -huh. and she's been lucky for her. Well, she uh, she won. She uh, certainly will be proud of you tonight. <laughs> uh, very well done. I mean, you jumped out to a huge chip lead, and then did you feel it slipping away from you? Mm. I did. Yes. Sort of about the second or third break, I thought I'm going to have to start trying something mm -hmm. because it's I, I've seen it happen. So many times somebody gets mm. a big lead and it just trickles away. Mm -hmm. So I, I dug in. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, your pacing, I thought, was uh, perfection because uh, in those middle rounds where the blinds weren't high, you weren't risking, you weren't getting the hands, and uh, you kept your chips uh, precious and protected them until uh, it really mattered, and that was at the end. Very well done. Very impressive. Thank you very much. Congratulations again, Pippa. Through to the semifinals, and isn't she going to be a force there? One more slot to fill, and how about this? Next week, the gentleman, Liam Flood, with the defending champion, Lee Nelson. See you next time on the thepartypoker.net World Open.